Witness statements and high quality security video helped Spokane police identify and arrest the suspect in a shooting in North Spokane last week. Dwayne Delaney is now facing multiple charges, including attempted murder and assault. Crim 2's Amanda Rowley shares why investigators believe the shooting stems from an ongoing gang conflict. In a matter of three days, Spokane police arrested the man who they believe shot across traffic at this home here behind me. Now we received copies of surveillance video showing the exact moment when a man matching Dwayne Delaney's description pulled the trigger. It was still daylight when a man identified as Dwayne Delaney pulled out a pistol and shot at two women in North Spokane last week. Spokane County Court documents say the two victims were standing next to a parked car when the suspect shot at them from across the street. They ducked for cover and avoided injury. The women told investigators they recognized the suspect as Delaney. One of the victims believed she was the target of the shooting. That's because she's involved in a manslaughter case with a man believed to be Delaney's cousin. That case happened at the same home on Jefferson Street in December 2020. The woman involved in the case was accused of accidentally shooting Dante Frazier during a house party. Investigators say he was a Suave gang member and possibly related to Delaney, who police say is also a member of the gang. Since Frazier's death, detectives knew about threats from the Suave gang toward the woman who allegedly shot him. Investigators believe the gang sought revenge for Frazier's death. This is what they suspect is Delaney's motive for the shooting last week. Court documents say high-quality security video like this from homes in the area helped police identify Delaney as the suspect. Records show he has two prior felony convictions for robbery and attempt to elude. Since these are felony convictions, Delaney is not allowed to have a gun. He is now in custody at Spokane County Jail with bond set at $250,000. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.